it's me Claire Moore and I am back with another makeup tutorial but before we get into this look I want to give you guys an update because I've been missing for two weeks I think going on three weeks now and let me tell you why it's because I did not have a laptop guys to be honest I never had a laptop but recent or computer but recently I was able to get a MacBook Air from Best Buy and I love it. I don't have to use anybody's laptop anymore. I don't have to be on anybody's time anymore. It's all me and it's exciting. You know, whenever you want something guys, don't give up. Make sure you work for it and get it no matter how little or small it is. This is just a MacBook but to me it's a huge deal because since I've been doing YouTube guys, I've always worked on other people's laptops computers so to be able to work on my own and just be on my own time not have to rush because somebody wants your laptop or anything like that just feels really really good and i'm so happy and i feel so blessed so let's go into the next thing that i want to talk about you guys know that i have been gone right i was on vacation well workation we went to the Jamaica um, makeup cruise and it was amazing guys. Well, we went to Cayman Islands, we also went to Duns River. I had two makeup classes and I mean, we had such a ball, especially at Duns River. I wish we had more time. It was me, my favorite girl Latifa, Natalia, Auntie and my sister. First, I wanna just thank you guys so much for coming that my friends actually came and supported me. It means the world, Latifa, I love you. Natalia, you know you my girl, I love you. Auntie, you my new boo, you already know. And my sister, that just means the world to me, that she came out and we had such an amazing time. And we met a new friend named Whitney who came all the way from Belgium. She's originally from Suriname, just to meet me and come to my makeup class. And she's like a new sister. She's like the third sister, guys. We had such a fun time with her. Thank you, Whitney, for coming. Really, really appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, who bought a ticket to my makeup class. It means the world. There was another young lady who came all by herself. She had this beautiful, like, green tips. So thank you so much for coming. The two other ladies who came, I mean, thank you so much. And to all the attendees that I really didn't get to spend a lot of time with as I would have liked, but I still got to probably dance with you. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it beyond anything. All right, so let's get into this review. Everybody knows that your girl has been trying to lose weight since for like 20 um years like for real okay and I mean it's just it's just something that's really difficult it's something that I struggle with but like I always say never give up okay so this company called your closet one hit me up and they will let me got some weight loss products of course you have to incorporate eating healthy and drinking lots of water for this to really work and I said okay let's go in the beginning everything was fine um, I had lost seven pounds and then I kind of slowed down using it because I moved Jamaica I mean all kind of stuff came up but let me tell you about these products first they send me a tea Oh my god, the tea tastes so good. It tastes so good even without any sugar. I don't drink tea with sugar anyway, but yeah. So the tea, the tea looks like this. All right. Unfortunately, I'm not able to take the tea anymore because it started to like hurt my stomach and I was getting dizzy, well not dizzy, nauseous and throwing up. It just wasn't working for me for me anymore. But none of these teas work for me. Ballerina tea doesn't work. Um, slim tea doesn't work. None of these tea work for me after a while, guys. Um, for some reason, whatever natural products are in these tea just, just doesn't go with my tummy. However, I gave these tea, I gave some of these tea um, packets to my friend and she flushed out I mean it cleaned her out and she had no issues so I think it's just me but um you have to check it out it's absolutely awesome it's a herbal cleansing detox shrink tea all right I'm really sad that I'm not able to take this anymore but yeah all right another thing that I like to use and I like to use with saran wrapper is the instant lipo gel guys 
it helps activate lipolysis and microcirculation. So I really, really like this. I just rub it on my tummy and then I tie it with some saran wrapper and then I hit that treadmill, okay? And then another thing that I like to use is the skin repair in a jaw. It looks like this. So this says that you have to use it on dry skin. However, I like to use it in the shower and I just scrub my skin with it like my whole body. So it looks like that. It smells so good. It's so minty and refreshing. So it really opens up your pores and like cleans out your pores and just um, exfoliates your skin. So I really like this. And then last but not least is of course, guys, my waist cincher. Okay, look how big this bad boy is, y'all. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this thing. This thing is huge. However, it no longer fits. It is too big for your girl, okay? So I'm happy about that. I think I'm going to give this to someone that's a little bit bigger than me because it doesn't fit me anymore. So thank you, your closet. Um, so I definitely need a smaller one. I like this because in the inside it's nice and soft. And in the outside it's like that leathery material, that latexy material. Um, yeah, if you've never tried a waist cincher before, definitely get on it. I don't recommend like wearing it all day long. But if you wear it a few hours, I'd like to wear mine during the gym sometimes. Only when I'm like walking the treadmill, not when I'm like doing hardcore exercise because then it's just uncomfortable. But if I'm like walking the treadmill and stuff like that, I do like to wear this. So it's nice and comfy. I'm going to give it to my friend because I don't think it's, it's a little bit small for me now. It's a little bit too big for me now. So this is a size. I ain't going to tell you what size this is. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But anyways, I'm going to leave your closet one. All the information down below in the description bar. You have to check them out, guys. Customer service is a one okay they're absolutely amazing their products are amazing and i want you to go follow them on instagram so you can see real women real stories who have been using this product and i mean it's working for them okay i just should have been a little bit more um on top of it Ugh, my phone excuse, excuse me about that i'm so sorry all right so I'm sorry I rambled on. I hope you are still with me. Make sure you watch the rest of this video because you're gonna love this look, guys. And please make sure that you thumbs up this video, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in a few days because I'm recording something else very, very soon. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for staying tuned. So we are going to start off by filling in our eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Zip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. And I'm going to fill it in using a flat angled brush. I'm just going to follow the natural bone structure of my brows, but I'm going to go a little bit thicker because I like full brows on myself. I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other brow because you don't want to walk around with just one brow, right? Okay. Then I'm going to take a spoolie brush and just blend up my natural hairs. And I'm also going to pluck some unwanted hairs. Oh wait. Then I'm going to take my LA Girl Concealer in Fawn with a flat rounded concealer brush and I'm going to clean the bottom of my brows. I don't touch the top of my brows guys. I leave them as is. This is like actually my favorite part of my brows, of doing brows, guys. I just love how clean it starts to look. Excuse my computer. I'm just like, I'm just getting to know her. All right, then I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other brow. 
I'm gonna take this beautiful fluffy brush from Makeup Addictions and I'm just going to blend that brow out. So this is a new foundation that I'm using on myself for the first time. It is the Studio Fix Concealer from MAC Cosmetics. I just never bought it, I don't know why, but I bought it for my sister and it was too light for her so she gave it to me because we don't waste makeup around here. And you know what? I really like the coverage it gives. It's really, really pretty, and it's nice and full coverage. But, of course, um, you don't have to pack it on and it look a little bit more natural. So, I didn't add too much, but look how natural it looks, guys. And I'm using my favorite foundation brush. If you've been watching my past videos, you know that I do not play about this brush because it makes your skin look like butter, baby. This is the Oval 8 brush from Artist Brushes. Check them out because I can't use any other brush. Like, I need at least two more of these brushes to feel complete in my life. It, it, it's that serious. I love this brush. Okay, we're going to move right along to the concealer. You guys know this step. You're going to highlight with Fawn Concealer from LA Girl Concealer. Then you're going to blend it out with a beauty sponge. And mine is from Real Technique. I love it. I wet it a little bit with some Fix Plus and then I'm going to blend it out because it makes my skin look so bright and refreshed. Make sure you take your time when it comes to blending out your concealer, guys, because you really don't want to see any harsh lines on your foundation, okay? Then we're going to bake. We're going to set it with some banana powder. You know what? I'm falling in love with banana powder again. I don't know if it's because I still haven't gotten a Sasha one or what but i'm falling in love with this bad boy again or maybe it's because i've been using a different technique to set it hmm we'll talk about that in a few all right so we're going to set our face because anywhere you apply a cream or a liquid foundation or product you're going to set it with a powder to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere but we are going to bake today guys so after i after i finish applying my powder i'm going to do my eyes and i know that's different but I'm not really doing a heavy eye look today, so I can do that. Burnt orange in my crease. And what I use on my lid is just the MAC Pro Longwear in Laying Low. It's like a primer, but it's also a cream eyeshadow that lasts forever. And then I'm going to take another eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills called Red Earth. And I'm going to blend that fluffily into my crease as well guys and I really really love this blending brush because it's so fluffy and soft it makes everything look super smoked out I just love the way this is coming together Then I'm going to take my Dasha Cosmetics palette, and this palette is called City Lights. And I took the nude matte eyeshadow that's in this palette to apply that onto my lid with a really nice brush. I think this is from Pretty Girl Brushes. I'm not sure, but I'll leave their information down below because I really like their brushes. Then I'm going to blend it out a little bit more. So again, there aren't any harsh lines. Eyeliner. So this is one of my favorite liquid eyeliners. It's from Milani. It is called their Real Technique Eyeline Liquid Eyeliner. If that's not the correct name, I will leave it in the description bar as well, guys. I'm so excited using my new laptop that I am just not prepared with all the makeup that I use, okay? But we're going to continue and make it the best time ever. Then we're going to apply these lashes called Yonce from Elena Lashes. And these lashes, I'm telling you, will give you life. It will breathe oxygen into your makeup. Look at that. Boom. They deserve another shout out. Yonce from Elena Lashes. I am in love. All right. So now what I'm doing is setting my setting powder into my skin with some Fix Plus. So I'm not brushing it away, I'm actually setting it into my skin 
Then I'm going to go in with the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC Cosmetics and I'm just going to help blend that out. The contour palette that I'm using is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is called Copper Brown. It's such a rich red color. I'm so in love with this. I don't know why I haven't used this one yet. Anyways, then I'm going to apply that use with a brush from Makeup Addictions. It's from their older collection, but it's still a really awesome brush. So you have to check out Makeup Addictions for their brushes, guys. You know the highlight and contour drill. The only difference here is that I'm only using powder. I'm not using the cream today. Why? Because I wanted to. <laughs> Alright guys, so just make sure you are continuing to contour that nose. We're going to go on with a blush. The blush that I'm using is called Love Joy. And I really, really love this blush, guys. Because it has shimmer in it. It's like plummy. It's so pretty. Now, this brush broke, okay? This brush broke. And even though I have a million other brushes, I love this brush for highlights. Look how it applies highlights, guys. Oh, my goodness. It just lit my face on fire. It is so pretty. Don't forget your nose. Don't forget to add some shimmer to your nose. And then we're going to go move forward to our lips. You guys know how much I love doing lips. And we are using the lip liner from MAC Cosmetics in the Bitter Sweet. It's one of my favorite lip liners. So is Chestnut. Never forget about Chestnut. But this one is really creamy and it lasts all day long and it applies so smooth. Now this lipstick is from Dasha Cosmetics as well. It is called Pretty Brown Eyes. And it is a beautiful matte brown lipstick. Perfect for the fall, guys. Perfect for the fall. Mmm. What am I looking for? I don't think I'm done. Mm -mm. Yeah, I need to clean up this lipstick so it can look flawless. So I'm going to take my foundation, not my concealer, my foundation to clean up the side of my lipstick. The reason that I'm not using a concealer is because one, my concealer is lighter than my skin tone. Concealer is thicker, so it's harder to blend out. Liquid foundation is super easy to blend out. And this is the finishing look. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being so patient. Make sure you thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.